show you folks a quick trick that I use to make images look sharper. And this applies to not only like Capture One or a Lightroom or anything like that, but basically whatever sort of editing software that you're using, you can apply this trick to. So a lot of folks, what they do to make images look sharper is they will add clarity. And right there you can see, okay, cool, it looks sharper. What other folks do is they just up the sharpness. And that's about it. And when you go in, you start to see that, oh wow, that's sharp. And then you undo it a bit, and that's really about it for most people. But my trick is different. It involves basically using the colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by editing the image. And let's say, no, shade, no. Even that won't work. So sunny, even that's a little bit too warm, so cool. Now we've got one there. And now we're gonna give that a little bit more green. Now I'm going to up the exposure a bit. And I'm not gonna touch the contrast or anything else like that. I'm going to kill the highlights a bit. And now you start to see that more details start coming out there. But the really key thing, and this is why I'm saying it works in both Capture One, Lightroom, or anything else, is your black level. So this doesn't really totally make an image sharper, but it makes it look and appear sharper. And that's really what we're going for. It's a very important thing that a lot of photographers don't really know about. It's a trick that usually, like, it goes against what a lot of folks do. So a lot of folks will sit there and they'll just go like that. And they'll just try to deepen the blacks as much as they can and they'll push the shadows and then they're calling it a day. But that's not really what's working here. The deeper your black levels are though, the more the other colors will be pronounced and the sharper your image will look because of the fact that people aren't really going to pay attention to what's there and there they're going to pay attention to what's there. It's the way that the human mind works and the human eye works. It just ignores whatever's in the black area. So I'm going to do that right there. And now you can see there's even more pop as a result. It's obviously not a uh, parent pop, but it's there for sure. And now when I up the contrast a bit, this area just becomes negligible and the other areas around her just pop even more. So now when I do this with highlights and when I kill the whites a little bit more, I have an image that pops. Let's uh, demonstrate that with another photo though. So I'm going to go through, maybe I should choose something else, not those. Let's choose, uh, that's a terrible photo. Um, no, I'll choose this one. No, better yet, I'll choose that one. Okay, cool. So gonna reset to make sure that everything's set and okay to deal with. Now I'm going to up the exposure a bit, kill the highlights a bit. I can obviously, and usually what I would do is I would work with the colors uh, just to, you know, change things up. His skin color does not need to be that color. So I'm going to work with, let's say, the greens. I'm going to saturate those more. And then the reds, I'm going to saturate those more. So now his shirt pops out a lot more. And what I could do is I could work with the clarity. And then the image will just pop. But instead... I'm going to work with the black levels, and now it's starting to create micro contrast. So that's with no black levels, and that's standard. And then when I start to punch in even more, let's say punch in around 75%, 74 is close enough, it looks a lot sharper than it did before. So let me show you. So this is the original, and this is this version. Let me see another image though. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna punch into like, let's say 65-ish percent. And now when I do this versus this, notice how the other colors are popping a lot more. So this is a trick that you basically have to do to taste 
and with various images. Uh, once you figure it out, though, you start to see that it's a lot more effective. Uh, but the problem is that not everyone has the best screens for viewing these kinds of things. If you're an, on an Apple device, all Apple devices are pretty much calibrated to look the exact same. So that's not really a problem that you'll have. But with other devices, uh, like PCs, sometimes that can be an issue. Take a look. No black levels, deeper black levels. And everything else is just being emphasized a lot more. So try it out yourselves. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot, folks. And uh, be sure to subscribe and check us out over at thephobloggerfer.com.